All seven tornadoes that touched down on March 2nd and 3rd in Middle Tennessee were spawned from the same supercell thunderstorm. Now we want to take you inside the path of that storm and the damage it caused all the way from Benton to Cumberland County. The storm would actually take shape in West Tennessee before moving into Benton County just after 11 o'clock at night. This EF2 tornado started northwest of Camden and continued across the Tennessee River into Humphreys County. The tornado stayed on the ground for 18 miles and saw winds as strong as 125 miles per hour. Now that damaged several houses and mobile homes. Sadly, one person died and two others were injured from this tornado. Now also in Humphrey County, this storm briefly spun up a second tornado, but this one was much weaker, only an EF zero, and thankfully no one was hurt. Now, as the storm continued to travel across Dixon and Cheatham counties, it began to intensify again as it pushed into Davidson County. Tornado sirens would begin to sound just after 1230 in the morning. This long track tornado that was on the ground for almost an hour, more than 60 miles, making it the longest tornado on record in Middle Tennessee since those records began in 1950. Now the tornado started as a powerful EF2 as it moved across John C. Toon Airport in North Nashville and then into Germantown. It then would intensify further into an EF3 as it moved into East Nashville. EF3 damage would also be found in Donaldson, Hermitage and Mount Juliet in Wilson County. This tornado at its widest point was 800 yards. That's nearly half a mile. This tornado sadly killed two people in East Nashville and three others in Mount Juliet. More than 200 people were hurt from this long track tornado. Now, even after that dissipated in Smith County, it would not take long before it produced another EF zero tornado in Buffalo Valley. That's just on the edge of Putnam County. And sadly, Putnam County would see the strongest tornado of the night. This was just after 1:40 in the morning. The supercell produced a violent EF4 tornado. That tornado started northwest of Baxter, staying on the ground for eight miles, ending just before striking the heart of Cookville. In total, 18 people were killed and 88 others were hurt. Now, this was the worst tornado on record in Putnam County. Now, before exiting the Channel 5 viewing area, yet two more EF zeros would go on to happen. Another one in Putnam County near Gofton and another in Cumberland County. In total, 24 people were killed in these tornadoes. That is the deadliest outbreak since the April 27th, 2011 outbreak in East Tennessee.